Hi guys, I'm Ben Ibrahim. And Saya Michelle. This week on Kaki Bola, two teams battling it out for the top four spot in the EPL. That's Aston Villa and Everton. Pasukan manakah yang akan menang? Jom kita tanya peminat. Pelawanan antara Aston Villa dan juga Everton, pasukan manakah yang akan menang? Aston Villa. Aston Villa. Kenapa Aston Villa? Kerana dia punya performa tahun ini memang bagus. Lah. Jadi berapa banyak jaringan gol yang Asal akan diberikan? 2-0. 2-0. Siapakah penjaring gol tersebut? 2-2 biji, uh, Barry Wai. Agaknya pasukan manakah yang akan menang? Everton. Belum jawab lagi? lagi? Everton. Everton, kenapa? Saya so, Everton Power lah tu je lah. Eh, ha. Everton Power. Jadi siapakah penjaring gol yang akan uh, buatkan pasukan Everton menang? Ha, tak pasti lah. <laughs> Berapa jaringan gol? 2-0. 2-0. Saya rasa Aston Villa. Aston Villa. Kenapa Aston Villa yang dijangka akan menang? Sebab saya minat dia. Eh. Ha. Selain daripada tu dari segi teknik dia ke apa ke pemain dia? Ke cara permainan orang ah. Uh -huh. ha, itu jelah. Berapa saya banyak jaringan gol yang akan diberikan oleh um, Everton? Agak 2-1. 2-1. Aha. This week's match, Aston Villa versus Everton. Email in your match prediction and win prizes. Question number one. George Best is Manchester United's all-time leading scorer. True or false? Yes. Sorry? Oh, true or false, man? True. Incorrect. Ayo. Cristiano Ronaldo is the third Manchester United player to be crowned European Football Player of the Year. True or false? False. Correct. Manchester United's nickname is the Devils. True or false? True. Incorrect. You know what Sir Alex Ferguson said. You always have to know your homework on the opposition. Okay. So, question number one. Right. Chelsea FC were formed in 1905. True or false? It's true. It's true. It's true. Oh, it's true. Okay. John Terry's middle name is George. True or false? It's true. It's true. It's true. It's true. Tottenham manager Harry Redknapp is Frank Lampard's uncle. True or false? It's true. It's true. It's true. I want to be like Mike because it's true. Congratulations, Chief. All right. Thanks very much. And I found another Manchester United supporter, but he said we can question him on any team in the EPL. And we're going to question him on Tottenham. Adam, are you ready for the challenge? Yes. Question. Okay, question number one. True or false, my friend? Okay. Question number one. Tottenham Hotspurs are known as the Lily Whites. Is that true or false? Uh, true. Correct. <laughs> Woohoo! You got, you got two beautiful women cheering you on. Okay, Arsenal are Tottenham's fiercest derby rivals. True or false? Uh, true. Correct. <laughs> Ledley King holds the record for the fastest ever goal scored in the English Premier League history. True or false? It's true. Correct! He wins a prize! All right, there you go, my friend. Share that with your mom and dad and all your friends. Thanks, bro. I started um, liking Manchester United when I was like 15. And at that time, uh, it was uh, they were doing very well. And being a girl at that moment, <laughs> um, it was the most popular club and there was David Beckham. But, okay, it wasn't not just solely because of Beckham, but uh, gradually I learned more about the team and, uh, of course, other teams as well. And uh, every week I make a point to watch the game. Oli Gunnar Solskjaer. Yes, um, I remember him as... Um, He's a great player mm -hmm. and uh, the way he shoots his ball, I mean, his ball control, his accuracy was superb. And, you know, um, during that time, it was like, he was among the, um, like, Beckham and Keane and Giggs and Scholes and Phil and Gary Neville. So at that moment, I saw him the most. I mean, you know, even though Beckham was, back, uh, was famous back then, but I saw him as my favourite player. I, I think that's good is because that at least... Um, it'll be all equal so that, you know, unlike, you know, remember Chelsea, Chelsea is like oh, a rich yeah. club. Yes. So he get, um, at that time, Mourinho gets to buy a lot of good players. And that's why they're number one team before, right? Mm -hmm. And yeah. So, um, 
and now um, City is doing it as well. I think uh, the owner is Sulaiman or something like that, right? So he is a rich guy as well, and he's planning to get like he was willing to pay Ronaldo sixty million dollar um, pounds, right? So exactly. To some teams, it'll be unfair. So I think it's better if they have a salary cap. I think so. Log on to gua.com.my to view the full interview. Question of the week: Salary caps, good or bad idea? Log on to gua.com.my to vote. Then get onto the Gua Kakibola forum to debate further. Well, boys and girls, it's time to say goodbye. Jumpa lagi minggu depan.